Hey, what's happening, guys? Today, we're going to pick up our Arduino Foundation series from where we left off the other day. And that was with setting up the, uh, the, the OLED. Hang on a second. Did you hear? She was barking in her sleep. Sorry about that. It was making me laugh, so I had to stop. So remember we did this before where we had the number come up when we turned the potentiometer, which is standing in for any type of sensor. Well, what we're doing today is we're going to add to that a graph. As you can see. As I turn a potentiometer, we get a nice linear progression there. And this can be really useful when you're working with different types of sensors. And you don't want to take time to interpret the data, basically. You know, you say you have a, uh, a temperature sensor. Right, that temperature sensor is not a good idea. Um, a gas sensor, for instance, a uh, volatile organic compound sensor. And it's reading, you know, 327. Well, you got to think about what that means. It's easier, in my, I think so anyway, to have a graph. You know, there it's pretty low, average. Hey, that's high. We better do something about that. It's just an easier at a glance thing. I'll show you the code to this here in a second. And what's really cool is you can easily change the size of this bar and make it whatever you want. And if you have a multicolored display, you can do uh, multicolors as well. One of the reasons why you definitely want one of these little OLEDs on your Arduino project. And now this is the 128 by 64. There's also a, uh, I think it's a 128 by like 32. It's like half this size. And those are real nice. If you just need to display one piece of data, one piece of information, they'll come in there real nice. Now, before we go over to the computer, let me just show you the connections for those of you who are new to this. So we have Arduino plugged into the breadboard. And we have our 5 volt pin going to the red rail, our ground going to the blue rail, and then those are just bust up to the top here. Our potentiometer, we have the left side going to VCC, right side going to ground, and the wiper comes over to analog pin 0. Now for our OLED, the ground goes to the blue ground rail, the in goes to the red VCC rail, SCL, the yellow one, comes over here, and that goes to A5. That is the Arduino's serial clock pin, and it is set up that way if you're using I squared C, you're stuck on that pin. And SDA, that's the white one, comes over here, and that is A4. So A4 and A5 are going to be your I squared C pins. All right, go take a look at it. All right, I think you'll find this pretty cool. We've taken the sketch we used before for just setting up the OLED where we turned the potentiometer and it gave us the number. Now we're adding in the graph, as you saw. <clears throat> so basically, everything up to this point is the same. And then we added one more variable called convert. There are no changes to setup. And there are two changes to the loop. The first one is we set the value in the variable convert by mapping level. Now, what that does is we take the variable level, which is the analog read of A0, that's the potentiometer, you know, standing in for our sensor, and it's going to read from, you know, whatever, 0 to 1024, 1 to 1024, whatever it is. And we are going to convert it, we're going to down the sample it, I guess you would call it, from 1 to 1024, from 1 to 128. And it'll just be a linear thing so that every turn of the potentiometer, every, say, degree, is the same even though the numbers are different. That's the map command. Very useful. You can do it straight like this. You can do it inversely by going 128 to 1. You know, There's a lot of things you can do with a very useful command. And then down here, 
here's our new one and it's called fillrect so we say display dot fillrect in this case one comma thirty comma convert comma ten comma white what does that mean well, it means draw a rectangle starting from x comma y with width comma height of the color that you have chosen then we show the buffer and that is all there is to it it's really simple I will uh, put this code down in the paste bin along with the other one this one is called OLED with Nano Demo 3 and uh, check it out alright guys I hope you like that you got two new Arduino commands today the map command and the draw field rect command very cool you can use it not just to draw bar graphs, but squares, rectangles, you know. And there's another one of these that is not, it's just draw rect, it's not the draw field rect. So you'll get an empty box. You can use it to make, you know, your screen look pretty as you wish. So if you enjoyed this particular video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the sponsors, big thanks to the patrons, and a big thanks to you right there. Holding your phone while you should be working. That's it. I'm out. Peace.